In that neighborhood of 43rd and Emmett, homes and vehicles sprayed by bullets. And neighbors tell us the damage left behind is a harsh reminder that this kind of violence touches us all. Jessica Gale joins us live now with the story. I'm live here near 43rd and Emmett, John and Mallory, a neighborhood that was lit up by gunfire Monday evening. Now I spoke with one homeowner who says this is generally a safe place to live. She says it is so frustrating to think that this kind of nonsense was brought to the place that she calls home. Her porch chipped and shattered, her window screens torn, her neighbor's car pelted with bullets. It all serves as a stark reminder that the outcome of Monday night's shooting near 43rd and Emmett could have been much worse for Diane Scaife. Anybody could have got killed. Anybody could have got killed. Nobody was killed, but her nephew was taken to the hospital in critical condition, suffering from several gunshot wounds. She says it's not the first time she's had to deal with this kind of violence. She's used to living most days in fear. You cry. You can't do nothing. You know, quiet. Hope that you don't get hit by a bullet. It's people like Scaife that Omaha Police Chief Todd Schmatter says his heart goes out to. In a morning news conference, he confirmed this shooting was gang related. North Omaha is an amazing community. And in a lot of ways, they're, they are victims of the gang members who are operating within the community. And it's time to stop. It's really time to stop. Now behind me, you can see that gray Pontiac with the windows just barely intact. If you get up closely, you can actually see the windows are completely shattered. I did speak to the homeowner of that gray Pontiac. She wasn't comfortable going on camera, but she did tell me that this shooting was the very last straw for her. She's moving and soon. Well, certainly understandable. Thank you, Jessica, reporting live there.